ever wonder how our Hawaii street got its name? Well, every Thursday we have our Aloha Authentic segment to bring awareness to the local culture. In this week's segment, Kamakapili takes to a road in Kalihi Valley. Here he is. Aloha mai, it's Kamakapili. We're here in the Ahu Pua of Kalihi in the Moku of Kona here in Oahu to share with you about this road known as Kamehameha the Fourth Road or more commonly known as Cam Fourth Road. But we at Aloha Authentic always urge to say the full names, especially if of their royals, because of course we want to give honor to those who had contributed so much to our people. So Kamehameha the Fourth, whose name is Alexander Liholiho, the grandson of King Kamehameha the Great. When we usually talk in conversation about Kamehameha the Fourth, usually his beloved wife, Queen Emma Naea Rook, is included in that conversation. With both of them together, they had contributed immensely to the native Hawaiian people of their time. And the amazing thing is, a lot of those contributions back then are still in existence today. For example, Queen's Hospital, which is now known as the Queen's Medical Center. Did you know? Now you do. And I'm glad I do know that now. Thank you so much. Joining us now with more behind the history is Kamaka Pili. Pili, excuse me. Good morning. Good morning. Aloha. And I like that you mentioned about saying Kamehameha 4 Road and saying the, yeah. the proper name. Yeah. yeah. That's what we try to do here, too. <laughs> but when did King Kamehameha IV rule over the kingdom? So his rule took place in the early uh, 1950, 1855. If I say 19, I mean 18. In 18th <laughs> century, 1855, mm -hmm. um, following the death of his Hanite father, King Kamehameha III. And he reigned through the up until November 1863, I believe. He was about 29 years old. 29? And yeah, so it was a, a very, I mean, a, a good nine years or so of him ruling. So it was a good term. And you said that the Queen's Medical Center was established by the King and the Queen. Yes. When was that? So that was in the early, I believe, 1859 or so. There's so much dates to remember. Um, but that really began because they seen that there was a big threat to the native Hawaiian population mm -hmm. as there was a big influx to Western diseases that our people haven't built the immunity against yet. So in, in that, they wanted to find and create a, a hospital that gave free health care to Native Hawaiians to fight this issue. So they really worked tirelessly through a very grass, grassroots system going house to house trying to raise funds and campaign for this hospital. So within about a month they actually exceeded what their goal was to raise money and that was over thirteen thousand dollars and I'm assuming that's a lot of money at that time. And with that the, the legislature has also appropriated about an additional six thousand. So with those funds they were able to start up Queen's Hospital which now is Queen's Medical Center which is the largest private hospital within Hawaii. So back then it was for Native Hawaiians? Yes. Okay and then at some point? At some point you know I, I was told that they still do give um, some benefits for Native Hawaiians, but I'm not too sure. I'm sure it's a much more complicated thing than, than I know. What other contributions did uh, King Kamehameha IV? Oh, so much. One big one also was the Anglican Church that was brought in the early 1860s, and that really started, I believe the name was Hawaiian Reformed Catholic Church. With that, they established St. Andrew's Cathedral. Um, Another contribution, Iolani School, the mm -hmm. Iolani School that we know now. Mm -hmm. This is something I never knew, so when I found this out a couple years back, the name Iolani actually gets its name from Alexander Iolani Liho Liho, so after oh. Kamehameha IV himself. And another one was Mauna Ala, what we know as Royal Mausoleum, and that's out in Nu'uanu. The interesting thing, though, is Kamehameha IV actually was planning for this mausoleum, but he had actually passed before it began construction, so his brother, uh, Lot Kapuaiva, who became Kamehameha V, actually seen it through its construction. And fun fact too is that's only one of two places that I'm aware of that only raised the Hawaiian flag, the other being Iolani Palace. And where do King Kamehameha IV and Queen Emma rest right now? They rest at Mauna Ala. So Mauna Ala homes the, um, a lot of the family members for the Kamehameha family as well as Kalakaua family. So it's uh, King Kamehameha IV, Queen Emma, as well as their son, Prince Albert, who unfortunately passed at a very young age as a keiki, so they're all housed there. And for that area, how close can the public get? They actually can go in. There is open public hours uh, during the daytime, and you can uh, go inside there, but when going into that space, just know it is a very, very sacred space, so yes. just walk in and on that aina with that respect and regard. Yes, all about respect. Thank yes. you so much for Mahalo. being here, Kamaka. Thank you.